Hello and hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are changing the desktop environment in Kali Linux. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like and let me know that you like it. Anyway, if you don't know, Kali Linux comes with uh, XFCE by default or in latest version, it's the XFCE 4. So that's what comes in bundled with Kali Linux. And if you are someone who enjoys Ubuntu or the look and feel of Ubuntu, but you want also want the features and the exclusive things that's specific to Kali Linux, then this is something that you can do. Because uh, as for Linux, Linux is very flexible and you can do any customization you want to any distribution. So I will use a virtual machine for this, but uh, you can use uh, a clean install and it will work just the same. So let me turn on my Linux virtual machine uh, and then we can go through the steps of how to install uh, the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, once I'm in the desktop environment, so this is what Kali Linux usually looks like. If you're not familiar, uh, which I don't know why you won't be, but uh, if you are not familiar, this is what XFCE uh, looks like. So just to confirm that we are actually indeed using uh, xfce uh, we can use a program called screen fetch so you need to have this installed as you can see uh, if i type just screen fetch it won't uh, run it it will say if i want to install it if i do why it still won't work because i did not update the repository so keep in mind before you are way too excited to do something uh, so the first thing that uh, you need to do is uh, update the repositories and let me give it a bit and i don't know my internet sucks because what the heck it's 75 kilobytes yeah i i need to call some people anyway uh, let me uh, let this download uh, update then i will come back in a bit So after this is done, then what we have to do is just install screen fetch. Uh, you can also use new fetch, both of them work just as well. Uh, but I personally like screen fetch because I don't know why I like it, I just like it. Uh, so then we can just do sudo apt install screen fetch. Then uh, we just hit enter and what the heck i typed up yh well it still works so that's a plus point so now uh, we just have to wait for it to install and uh, it's a really small package it should not take up too much space uh, my internet just sucks i don't know why like it's it's really off today hmm. so uh, while this is uh, installing uh, you can see that uh, this this may prompt you so you can select yes or no i personally like to go no because i don't want uh, any silent installation while i am not aware of it so you can hit yes if you like uh, if you think kali will automatically update stuff so uh, that's up to you but personally i don't like it so now if we do screen fetch uh, as you can see this shows us a bunch of information about our operating system and in here you can see there is something called DE and which is XFCE. Now what this DE means is desktop environment. And that is the thing that we are trying to change today. And we want that to be GNOME. So what the heck what is here? Uh, so let me just clear this up. Uh, and then uh, what we have to do is just do sudo apt update again. And the installation process is fairly simple. Uh, it's simple because uh, Kali uh, comes with a pre-packaged uh, GNOME desktop so you don't have to set up everything manually. Uh, you just have to run this one command right here and it will install everything that you need and it will get you up and running in a very short time. So what you have to do is just do sudo apt install then Kali desktop and yeah i know i am voicing this over so i can see that i am making a mistake it will obviously throw an error like i'm not cutting this out because these are mistakes that people make and i also make them 
So make sure to check your spelling and just just check your spelling and make sure that everything is fine. So after I fix my spelling, then uh, you can see that it's saying it will take up 464 megabytes. That's because it comes packaged with everything that you need. So just hit Y and it will start installing. Now this will take a bit. So cool transition here. And then we need to configure the GDM3. So that is the display manager for a GNOME. And you need GDM3 because after you hit in enter here, it will ask what uh, display manager you want. So when you after you get this prompt and you see in, if you want to read this, you can, but eh, whatever. We'll just hit enter, then go to GDM3. Now this is the display manager for GNOME. I'm saying this a lot of time because you need to do GDM3. And the light DM that you see on the bottom is for uh, the XFCE. And as you can see, it installs really quickly. Now what we have to do is just do a quick reboot. And we should be into our GNOME like the GNOME system. So let's just reboot. And again, I am using a virtual machine and you can use a clean install. It will work basically the same way it's working here. So there you go. After it has rebooted, as you can see, this is not the normal XFC screen or the normal uh, login screen that we are used to see. This more, this looks more like Ubuntu. And uh, if you click here, then you can see that there is a little uh, settings icon in the bottom. So that setting icon, uh, hold up, I'll show you. So this icon right here will give you the option of which uh, desktop environment you want to use. So if you want to go back to XFC, you can do that. Or if you want to uh, use GNOME, you can also do that. So let's just uh, give our password and get in. And so that's basically it. So this is Kali Linux with GNOME. Uh, you have all of your system, all of your applications and everything that comes bundled with Kali Linux, you have everything. Uh, it's just that you're using a different desktop environment. As you can see, every software that you could ever ask for in Kali is present here. So you don't have to go ahead and install everything from scratch. And uh, let's just see if we actually change desktop environment. To check this, we will again use screen fetch. So if we do screen fetch, uh, let me make this a bit bigger. Then as you can see here, it says DE GNOME for 43.0. So that means we are using the GNOME desktop environment for this Kali machine. So uh, there is also a bunch of other desktop environment that you can use. And uh, there is Mate, Cinnamon, uh, there is KDE, which is really popular. So you can use anything that you like. So now let me show you how you can uh, switch between these. Like how does it work? So if I reboot this, then just give it a moment. Well, in virtual machines, I don't know. This sometimes it just gets stuck here, but uh, I will fix this. But it should not be an issue in a clean install. So there you go. So then just log in and switching between a uh, desktop environment is fairly simple. Uh, it's almost like toggling an uh, option on and off. So after we are here in the GNOME screen, just select your user, then just click here and then choose the XFC session. And what this will do is when, when you log in, it will get you back to the XFC session or the XFC desktop environment. As you can see, a familiar look. So if you are someone who likes to change it up, you want to use different desktop environment for different use cases, you can do that. Or you can just stick to GNOME. And if you do screen fetch again, and then you can see we're using the XFCE desktop environment. And that's basically it. So that's how you change the desktop environment in Kali Linux.
and have fun with this subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next